Hey there everybody, Phil here for AndroidCentral.com and here it is finally, the Motorola Droid Bionic. Probably one of the strangest launches of a phone uh, we've ever seen and we've seen quite a few. So uh, to back up, if you don't remember, uh, technically this phone was announced at CES in January 2010, only it wasn't this phone. It was a completely different phone, looks nothing like this except for it was Android and had a big screen, right? And that phone disappeared. Don't really know why. Uh, you know, some people say it was the radio, some people say the hardware just wasn't up to it. But that phone is dead, and so now we have what you see here before you. It's basically a uh, kind of a in-between the Droid X and the Droid 3, and that's not a bad thing at all. So it's a Motorola device. It's not the thinnest thing in the world, but uh, it's also not the thickest either. Dual core, one gigahertz uh, processor, TIO map, and it's got a full gig of RAM, and it has an LTE radio, which is why it's thicker than, say, uh, the Droid X2, or I've got an original Droid X here, which is exactly the same hardware as the uh, X2, except for the camera button. So you can see the difference in thickness there in the... Uh, Bionic is definitely thicker, but again, very uh, familiar kind of design in that you have a relatively thin device, flat device, and then a camera hump, and these both have 8 megapixel cameras, and otherwise very kind of familiar. So the Bionic is, for all intents and purposes, a really good phone, but the hype around this thing has just been incredible as we waited for, you know, eight months for an official announcement of whatever the hell happened to it. <laughs> And in that time, it just got lifted up and lifted up and lifted up. And now we have what you see here. So, I mean, this thing should do everything, right? It's got dual core, it's got an LTE, it's got a 4.3 inch Gorilla Glass display, um, you know, but it doesn't do everything, right? We found in our testing that it, in fact, won't make breakfast, <laughs> which was a little disappointing. Um, it won't play the piano, and believe me, we tried. And the thing won't fly, or at least not very well. So what it does do, it does really, really well. And this thing is just fast, right? So we've got Motorola's custom user interface on here. Uh, it used to be called Moto Blur. I know a lot of people call it Phil Blur lovingly. Uh, thanks, I think. <laughs> it's uh, evolved over time, and this is the latest iteration. Uh, same as you have on the Droid 3. So here are your home screens as you pretty much get them uh, stock. So up top here you have your favorite contacts, and this is actually a really cool widget, we've seen it before, but I like it a lot. So you have uh, your favorite contacts, and you have four up here by default, but if you pull the widget down, it will open up your favorite contacts, and you can add more. Really cool way. Now look how quickly that, uh, that moves between one to the other. The animation and the transitions are really, really nice. This phone is fast, and we'll be saying that over and over. Uh, you got some icons down here. Uh, you've got your docked apps, so you've got phone, uh, text messaging, the camera, and then your app drawer. I still hate the way those icons look. The camera looks like a washing machine. Uh, not a whole lot going on on the home screens by default. We've got Google's search widget here, uh, Verizon's data usage widget, which is nice, a guided tour, which is really cool, so if you're new to Android uh, and you're just now buying this phone, be sure to go through that. Some really good stuff in there. Mobile hotspot, so it's an LTE device, and it will uh, suck in the LTE data and spit out a Wi-Fi signal that you can use up to five other devices on. Uh, of course, you have to pay for that with Verizon, sorry. And over here on the right, you've got a social media widget and Google Talk, BZ Navigator, which is uh, Telenav and Verizon's version of Google Maps, and it's actually pretty good if you want to use it. Uh, ZumoCast, which is kind of a Motorola uh, you know, media you know, library type thing. So you got to sign in, have an account and all that if you want to use it, and a YouTube link. And then you've got two empty pages to do whatever you want. Uh, hit the settings. Again, nothing really we haven't seen before. You've got all your wallpaper uh, options. You can manage apps directly. That's a gingerbread thing. This is running Android 2.3. Takes you directly to all your downloaded apps and everything that's already on the phone. So a lot of these uh, you can't actually uninstall. Uh, like Google Plus, you know, I downloaded that. Facebook, I downloaded that. But you've got a lot of stuff that's on the phone by default. Um, let's see, what else? wallpaper. So one thing that's missing and it's been gone from the past few uh, Motorola phones is profiles has disappeared. That was uh, kind of a, HCC's got it, they call them scenes. Motorola had the same thing on profiles and that you could have different settings and, and different groups of home screens and it was actually really nice. It's almost like theming it, right? And that's gone again, not quite sure why. Uh, dive into the settings as long as we're here. 
about phones, so they see Android 2.3.4, which is nice. Web top version, so I'm not going to break them all out for you. We've seen them a million times, and they haven't really changed much. Uh, but the Droid Bionic has the same thing as the Atrix and the Photon. It has all this web top stuff, and one of them is a laptop. So you plug in your phone, and you can run Firefox on a pseudo laptop. Just buy a laptop, guys. Um, I mean, we've used it. It's okay. It's slow. But why you would do that over uh, using a normal laptop, I don't know. Other big thing you need to know, storage. So you've got about 3.5 gigs. I've got a few apps on here. About 3.5 gigs on which you can uh, install apps. And you've got 8 gigabytes of internal storage. Now I know it says 16. We know this. But remember, the OS takes up some room. You've got 3.5 here for your app storage, so it shares it. So you don't actually have all 16. You have you know close to it, though. And then we've got a 16 gigabyte micro SD card installed as well. Um, anything else worth looking at? Go to the network. So again, this is a, an LTE phone, right? You can actually turn off the LTE if you want, and it, they don't make it easy. You have to go in here in the settings and do it. But you can go from CDMA LTE to CDMA only, which is nice. So if you're really having a bad problem with your battery, and again, it's an LTE device, as you'll read in the review, uh, so it will be sucking down battery. Not quite as bad as the Thunderbolt, I think, but it will go through it. Let's look at some of the apps we have. Uh, Amazon Kindle's on here by default, Blockbuster, Google Books. Uh, Citrix, that's a big one for all you biz types. City ID, which I love. Glad to see that there. DLNA, so if you have a DLNA-capable uh, television, this lets you stream music and video from your phone and pictures directly to the TV wirelessly. It's actually really cool. Uh, there's a device setup app, which is nice. So it'll let you connect your accounts and kind of walk you through everything. So if you're new, again, to Android, it uh, helps you out a little bit. Photo gallery. Uh, go to meeting. So again, for you biz types, you've used GoToMeeting, I assume. It's your mobile hotspot app, which lets you share uh, the LTE signal over Wi-Fi. Moto Print, which I don't have hooked up right now, but this is very cool and it works really well. So it lets you uh, wirelessly print from your phone to a printer. Um, some printers it supports directly, others you have to have an app running on your computer that's uh, connected to the printer, but it's actually really good and a really cool idea. Uh, Slacker Radio's on here, Quick Office. They have a social location app that's part of uh, all the uh, social networking, more social networking, all your Vcast apps. It's a Verizon phone, so of course it's got all the Vcast apps. And VZ Navigator and Zumocast, like we already said earlier. So, talk about the phone itself. It's actually a really, really solid device. I like it. 4.3 inch screen, and again, you know, it's Gorilla Glass, which feels great. Really nice to swipe on. My only problem is, is it's a pin tile display. Um, kind of hard to describe, especially when you're looking at it like this. It has to do with how the subpixels are made up. And I hate talking about that stuff because most of the time you probably won't notice. But on the grays and the, and the whites and the, almost into the blacks, you can really see it as you kind of move the phone. And maybe you can see it here on the video. It gives it almost a checkerboard look. I don't like it. I could live without it, certainly. But it's there. It uh, doesn't bother me as much as it has on other phones, though, so... Um, tell you what, let's bring up the Thunderbolt, just about the same size, about the same thickness uh, up here on the top. The uh, Bionic actually slopes down a little bit. It's not quite as thick on the bottom. You can't really tell until they're uh, sitting side by side. But we'll pop it up and see. So it's about the same size, about the same thickness. And for an LTE device, you know, that makes sense. We're going to start seeing, I think, some thinner LT devices, but this is not it yet. But it is a very, very good one. Uh, you know, it's still expensive, 300 bucks on contract, but that'll come down at some point, too. At this point, I'm pretty safe in calling it the best LT device you can get. But that said, we're going to see more, and we're going to see more pretty soon. So where it fits in that, I don't know. If, you've, uh, you know, if you're dead set on the Droid Bionic, I think you could certainly do worse. Um, you know, what's coming up, we just don't know. So I would not hold back at this point. It's the best LTE device you can get on Verizon right now, and it's definitely going to uh, stand up, I think, over the next 8, 10, 12 months, probably. So there you go, guys. Quick look at the Motorola Droid Bionic on Verizon. See you later.